Western now to the latest on the massive winter storm that is just pummeling the Northeast with snow, ice and rain or a combination of all three, depending on where exactly you live. Millions are dealing with messy commutes this afternoon as others in the Midwest and South are cleaning up what was left behind by a storm that caused tornadoes and rain. ABC's Rena Roy is tracking it all. Millions in the Northeast facing a brutal wintry mix. Snow, ice and rain pummeling the region. Parts of New England and New York expecting up to two feet of snow. We'll be ready for this. New York is ready as we always are, but um, we're ready. Yeah, bring it on. That precipitation coating highways across dozens of states. Tens of thousands of customers without power overnight in Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Maryland and Virginia. This comes as Americans get ready to hit the roads and skies for the holidays. The same storm system bringing a days-long tornado outbreak to the south. 58 twisters since Tuesday. At least three people killed in Louisiana. Homes damaged for miles. Everything's going on. This house lifted off its foundation. 50 years. I raised my children here. But this here is terrible. I mean, nothing. I have nothing. The strongest reported tornado hitting Union Parish, Louisiana. Officials saying it was an EF3 with 140 mile per hour winds. Multiple homes also damaged in Clark County, Mississippi. And in St. Petersburg, Florida, a tornado tearing through this daycare. Winds up to 100 miles per hour, tree branches going through the roof. Children had left the room just seconds before. Thankfully, no one was hurt. There are winter storm warnings from Pennsylvania to Maine. Up to 28 inches of snow could fall in the Adirondack Mountains. But some good news here. The storm will move out tonight from New England with a drier weekend expected ahead. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.